biggest issues and problems so much of us editors run into nowadays is getting our edits from our computer onto our mobile device. Maybe post it on different platforms. Now right out of the ordinary, this process probably sounds really simple and easy. And honestly, it probably is, but the actual hard part is finding a way to keep it in good quality after sending it over. So it just doesn't end up looking like whatever the heck it is. So if you're a beginner who's still trying to figure out how to send your edit from your computer to your phone, or if you've been editing since editing was even found, and you probably know thousands of methods on how to do this. Or even worse, you're eating your morning cereal as you're watching this, and you edit on like CapCut or something. Oh, oh my bad, I forgot it's not even on the app store anymore. Today I'll be testing what people claim to be the 5 easiest methods to send your edits to your phone without any quality loss whatsoever. And just so we can prove it afterwards, we'll see how each edit actually looks from my camera roll, and then post each edit to a spam account, and then we'll check back at it after an hour, and we'll just see how the quality looks. Now before we even begin, you can't just send it rawly straight from After Effects, cause uh, look at that file size. So what we're going to do first is convert it to an MP4. To do it, it really isn't that hard. What I personally just did is I rendered it in Topaz, so it also upscale it. But if you don't have Topaz, a good free alternative is Handbrake. Check out the video card for some good settings. So once you have your edit converted to an MP4, it's time to get into the testing. Our first method is going to be a Discord. If you're already in a Discord server that has it, such as mine, link in the description, or if you just add one to your server. For this video, I'm using this bot right here. You type in slash download with whatever link you have for your edit. And by the way, it claims to work with any link. And it should give you a download link of some sort. Okay, that's enough talking. Let's go try it. So for method one, we're clearly going to use Discord. Bro can raise me up. Oh, it's, it's launched. Okay. So we'll head over to my Discord server. And then we'll go over to my bot channel. So if we click slash download. Da, da, down. Ooh, this is hard. Click download URL. So this is supposed to work for any website. So I'm going to go with the easiest. So I've already uploaded my edit that I want to post. So we're just going to copy the link. And we'll just paste the URL. And I think it just clicks send. And let's say, okay, downloading video. And wow. It even gave me a heart emoji, damn. Okay, so now if we just go to here. And yes, I'm purposely using a musty, crusty iPad for this because what the f I think I'm recording with. So if I just go to Discord. So if I just click get your video here, go file. I'm a little nervous. Okay, hold, wait. Okay, wait, before I say anything, this file is smaller than the actual edit file on my computer. Wait, look. So the actual edit right here is like... 78 megabytes. Near 28. Meaning there is some sort of compression going on. So like, the quality isn't bad, but then again, you could tell there's like slight compression. You're watching it from an iPhone camera onto a musty crusty iPad, so you can't entirely see what I'm talking about. But it doesn't necessarily look that bad. Okay, I think what we do next is just go ahead and download this. It's redirecting me to this. Open in save video. It should be in my camera roll now. Oh, that was really fast. That was a quality look after I saved it. The quality looks really good, dude. So for method one, as of right now, I'm just gonna rate this like a nine out of 10. It's really good. The go file was a little sketchy. That's like my only downside. But other than that, pretty sweet. So the second method is pretty much the method that everybody prefers to use. Mega or Google Drive. This process is very simple. Make an account if you haven't already, then you just drop it in and wait for it to upload. Then when you're done, you can either just download the app and sign into your account on your mobile device, or you can copy the shareable link, then email it to yourself or just message it. And then from there, you just download it and just pray it saves your mobile device. I'll just drop my edit into this, and then you will see it'll start downloading right here. So after this is done downloading, you could either download the app on your mobile device or you could just send yourself a link via email messages whatever and then open it on your mobile device and download it there. i'm gonna go for the lazier method which is just copying the link since i just sent it to myself i could just copy this so from here i'll just paste it into safari but then as you'll see it'll just pop up i'll just click download and i'll click download this and this is what Mega always does to me. As you can see here, it, it just didn't save for me for some reason. Now, firstly, I always have a problem with Mega and Google Drive not wanting to save any of my videos. As you can see here, I try it. I try re-rendering it. It just never works, so I can't even try this method. But I know for a lot of people, it works very well. So I'm just going to read an 8 out of 10 from other people's reviews and what other people think about it. Firstly, it's a 0 for me because I can't even use it. 
So speaking on that note of literally messaging stuff to yourself. Method 3, you could just send it to yourself. Okay, I know it sounds kind of catchy and a little too easy. But there's a reason why this is the easiest method on the list. So if you're on Mac and you have an iPhone, this is going to be your easiest option. You can just drop your file to your desktop. Then right click on it and select the airdrop thingy like this shown in the And video. then right click on it and select airdrop. And if you have airdrop enabled on your phone, you should just be able to send it there. And it's literally that easy. But as we know, Mac users are a little too spoiled nowadays to get everything so easy. Fortunately, Windows doesn't even support this. Maybe it will in the near future. And I personally tried it with this different software that was pre-installed on my Windows 11 computer called PhoneLink. Just link your mobile device, doesn't matter if it's Android or Apple. And it pretty much links all your notifications and all your text messages onto your computer. I tried to send myself a video with it and it just wouldn't work. It only allows text messages, so that really sucks. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, Mac users. This method is probably my favorite for sending edits from my PC to my phone. So for method 4, we're going to basically upload our file to Streamable. It's basically a website where you could drop your edit, wait for it to upload, and you could just send the link to anybody to preview. And I'll have this like cool little pop-up thingy, so it's really simple. This is particularly useful for a lot of broke After Effects editors on Discord. Like me. We don't got Nitro to send bigger files. And even then, you can only send a file that's so big. And then the quality just ends up being down. So it's definitely not reliable whatsoever. But that's where Streamable comes in. Now, as good as this is for previewing it, just sharing a link which shows the video. Last I checked, you can't directly download it. So instead, what we can do is send this link to our phone using Discord messaging feature. Just email it. I don't give a shit. Then go on your mobile device and search up streamable download. Then click on any of the first websites that pop up. Paste in the link you just sent from your computer. Then just click download and save it to your camera. This is my personal favorite. This is the easiest and fastest if I just want to get my edit to my mobile device. And the quality is still pretty decent. I'm pretty sure it does downgrade it a little bit. And that's because I'm using the free plan. If I were paying for it, I would probably get higher quality and I think maybe direct downloads too. So if I were to actually post on my phone all the time, honestly, I would probably just buy it. It's literally less than 10 bucks. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't use any of these methods on a frequent basis. Only really the streamable method. But I just wanna get my edit on my phone so I can uh, rewatch it. Yeah, rewatch it. Or maybe just show it to somebody else. You gotta flex some muscles sometimes. And honestly, the reason for that is just because I post all my edits on my PC. I don't believe that it changes your quality or makes your edits flop when you post them on PC. Because I've literally posted every single edit on my main account from my PC. And as you can see, I'm probably getting better views than your favorite editor. And if somebody says Warner, I swear to God. So it's been about five days since I posted those initial edits. I know I said I would look back at it in an hour, but I just got delayed and I forgot about it. So yeah, let's just look at the first one we posted. And I don't even have the caption. Why does the caption not work? Because the PC has a certain feature where you can't view certain titles that were made on mobile. Instead, I just went to TikTok Studio and I'm just going to view the titles. Okay, so this edit we're about to watch was sent through Discord bot. Or through a Discord bot. Okay, so if I watch this... It doesn't... It doesn't... It kind of looks bad, I'm not gonna lie to you. I can, I can definitely see the compression. Uh, no, wait, it's in the intro. It's kind of... Like, when I pause it, it doesn't look compressed. But, like, when you're watching it... Like, it just, it looks blocky. I don't know how to explain it. This text it. looks alright. If I were to rate the quality on this, I'm just gonna give it. Actually, no, an 8. It's not perfect, but it's not that bad. Okay, let's look at the next one. So this version we're about to watch is the streamable converted one. So let's just see. Okay, there's, there's a lot of compression going on. Oh my god. Actually, no, wait. The text doesn't look that bad. Yeah, it doesn't, eh, it kind of does, but. I don't hate it. I feel like it could be better, though. It doesn't entirely look too well with the flicker, so I just, I, I, I can't. I can't stand that. For the streamable version, I think I'm just gonna have to give it 6.5 out of 10. So this next edit is the one we got from Google Drive. And let's just see here. The, the panning still looks kind of blocky. I'm not sure if that's just a thing with the edit. No, actually, the quality looks fairly well with this Nah, edit. this is pretty good. It's not perfect, because it's just not, but it's good. It's I think this is by far the best one. This quality is actually really good. The text usually looks bad. Didn't really downgrade it that much, but definitely it definitely did a little bit at least. I'm just going to have to give it a fat 8.5 out of 10. 9 yeah. out of 10, around that range. Okay, so up next is the Mac airdropped one. Okay, so I will know before I play this video, and as you can see, the 
compression already looks terrible. Well, this edit was not posted by me because I just, I don't own a Mac to do this feature. So instead I had somebody else on my Discord server do it for me. And I will note another thing, they are not from the US, meaning that their internet is different. And I've heard rumors, I'm not entirely sure that if you're not located in the US, your quality just gets screwed up. Some people even use a VPN to bypass this and their quality just becomes like 5x better. I don't know what it is, I'm gonna dig deeper into it, maybe make an in-depth video on that but enough yapping let's actually just see how bad this is oh okay that does not look good like you can't even read the text that's how compressed this is this looks a blocky I mean, this part doesn't look bad oh that text is so compressed Ouch. okay this is sad how compressed it got well the edit part isn't that bad because my color correction just okay. find it in the description so i don't hate this actually i do hate it i'm gonna be honest with you. the edit part wasn't bad the intro just oh. not look good i'm just gonna give this a 3 3.5 out of 10. I hate this. I know a lot of really good editors that do use the airdrop so feature. I don't entirely think that's the issue. But then again, if you're a Mac user and you want to try it out, go give it a try. Post it. Let me know in the comments on how that works. And now, last but not least, the PC version. So I posted this about eight hours ago. Yes, and all I did is I just posted the directly rendered version from out of Topaz. Right onto TikTok.com from my computer and I just clicked post. So let's just see. Okay, off the bat, this looks a lot better. Okay, wait, one thing I noticed, there is this like little compression flicker thing. I'm not sure if that's just how TikTok recognizes flickers, so maybe I've been biased this entire time, but no, the text looks so much better. Like, it does not look as compressed. Oh, this text looks clean. Like, look, you can actually see the highlights, and it doesn't look dark and pixely. Yeah, this is, this is, okay, I'm just gonna put it out there. Always intended. This is the best version. If you're sending your edits to your phone so you can post it directly to TikTok, please don't do that. It's a waste of the time. The point being, this is definitely the best one. I'm just gonna put it right out there. 9.5 out of 10. It's not a 10 out of 10 because it's still so slightly compressed and I think there's no such thing as perfect quality posting it to TikTok. Either I'm just extremely OCD and you don't see it. This is definitely by far the best version. Back to the outro. Now from here, if you don't know how to convert your newly rendered edit to an MP4 with good quality, check out my no quality loss handbrake settings here. And some good Topaz settings here. I kinda gotta remake that Topaz video because it was like my Ooh. second ever video on this channel. Now if this helped you, or it didn't, but just overall enjoy my content and would like to get recommended more of it, you could kinda guarantee that by clicking that big subscribe subscribe button down there and you know what just like the video so this could get more views and i can make more money and i can make better videos and oh my god holy yeah